The video will show you how to use Quick Create to manage common purchase related transactions in QuickBooks. Please refer to the handbook that accompanies this lesson if you want to get the most out of this video. Access the Quick Create menu by clicking the button with the plus icon at the top of your QuickBooks homepage. The Create menu pops up. Let's look at the options under the Suppliers heading. Expense is normally used for expenses paid in cash. Check is used for expenses for which a check is issued in payment. Bill is used for expenses that need to be tracked by supplier and which will be paid later on. Pay bill is used to create a bill. Purchase order is used to issue a purchase order to suppliers. Supplier credit is used to give credit to suppliers for rate differences and quantity differences. Let's click on the first option, Expense. This brings up the Expense page. You can select a pay, a cash account, a payment date and payment method. Enter a reference number. Add line items under the Account Details heading along with amounts and choose the tax rate applicable. The Item Details heading is specifically for Purchase and Sell type transactions. Add a note in the Memo field and click Save. The expense is saved. Clicking Cancel takes you back to the QuickBooks homepage. Access the Quick Create menu by clicking the plus icon. And now, let's click on Check under the Suppliers heading. This brings up the Check page. You can select a pay, a cash account, a payment date and payment method. Enter a check number. Add line items under the Account Details heading along with amounts and choose the tax rate applicable. Click Save. The check is saved. Clicking Cancel takes you back to the QuickBooks homepage. Access the Quick Create menu by clicking the plus icon. And now, let's click on Bill under the Suppliers heading. This brings up the Bill page. This option is for expenses that need to be tracked by supplier and which will be paid later on. You can select a supplier or create a new one by clicking Add New. Specify a name, a bill currency for the supplier and click Save to create a new supplier. Add a bill date and due date. Enter a bill number. Add line items under the Account Details heading along with amounts and choose the tax rate applicable. Click the arrow next to Save and New and click Save and Close from the drop-down menu. The bill is saved and you are taken back to your QuickBooks homepage. Access the Quick Create menu by clicking the plus icon. And now, let's click on Pay Bills under the Suppliers heading. This takes you to the Pay Bills page. At the top, you can select the bank or cash account from which you want to pay the supplier. Click the checkbox next to any bill to pay and specify the amount to pay if you would like to make a part payment. Select a payment date and state a reference number if you like. Then click the Pay Bills button. A message appears confirming the number of bills paid. Access the Quick Create menu by clicking the plus icon. And now, Let's click on Purchase Order under the Suppliers heading. This brings up the Purchase Order page. You can select a supplier and add a Purchase Order date. Add your expense account details along with amounts and choose the tax rate applicable. You can also add a message to the supplier in the appropriate text field. You can save the Purchase Order or save and send as an email by clicking the appropriate buttons. You must enter an email address on the purchase order to be able to use the Save and Send button. The Send Email window pops up. Here, you can add or edit the subject and body to the email and see a live preview on the right. Click Send and Close once you are done. The email is sent to the supplier and you are taken back to the QuickBooks homepage. Purchase orders can be converted to bills. To do this, you have to view Purchase Orders by Supplier. Click Suppliers in the left sidebar. 
you are taken to the suppliers page. Click on a supplier from the list to see all transactions for that supplier. For any purchase order in this list, click on Copy to Bill under the Action column to open a new bill page. All the details from the purchase order have automatically been entered into the bill page. Click Save and Close to save the bill and return to the supplier page. Access the Quick Create menu by clicking the plus icon. And now, let's click on Supplier Credit under the Suppliers heading. You are taken to the Supplier Credit page where you can give a supplier credit for a rate difference or a quantity difference. Select a supplier. Select the account, add the amount and choose the tax rate applicable. Click on Save and Close once you are done. The supplier credit is saved and you are taken back to the supplier page. The supplier credit amount just entered is deducted from the outstanding balance shown for the supplier. To see a list of transactions for all suppliers, click Transactions in the left sidebar. From the submenu that appears, click Banking. You are taken to the Banking page in QuickBooks. All transactions that have been automatically downloaded from linked bank accounts are listed on this page. The description for each transaction is the description provided by the bank account for which you supplied the username and password. Clicking on any transaction expands it. You can choose to add the transaction to QuickBooks manually or find a matching transaction in QuickBooks. To manually add the transaction to QuickBooks, choose whether it's an expense, a check or a transfer from the drop-down menu. Optionally, you can choose a payee as well. Select the appropriate account from the drop-down menu. Choose the applicable VAT rate, if any. Write a description in the memo field and click Add. The transaction is added to QuickBooks and is removed from the list of new transactions. It can be viewed under the In QuickBooks tab. You can also undo the added transaction by clicking the Undo button next to it. We can also add new transactions to QuickBooks by matching them with transactions already in QuickBooks. Select a transaction and click the Find Match Radio button. The Match Transactions window pops up. You can specify a date range to help shortlist transactions. Once you have found the transaction, it can be matched and added to QuickBooks.